People, what's good? Welcome, uh, welcome to another video. Welcome back to the apartment. And you know what? I am like dog tired today. So it's, I hope your day is going well. I hope you got the energy. Um, and if you don't have the energy, let's bring the energy today. So I'm excited for this video. I'm gonna take you guys through two things, chest and shoulder workout. So it's, it's, it's not two separate workouts, it's one workout. I do a chest and shoulder sessions a lot of time throughout my weekly split. And then uh, I'm gonna show you my post-workout essential move, whatever you wanna call it, uh, what I like to do pretty much every day post-workout, a good way to start speeding up that recovery. Because as you know, or now you know, the gym is great, breaks down the muscle, um, forces it to adapt, but all the growth is done with recovery. So it's what you feel, how you rest. Clearly, I'm slacking on the resting part, but we're gonna change that soon. Uh, so hopefully, maybe even when you see this, my, my website with my programming will be dropped. I don't know if it's going to be live yet. Uh, I was up pretty late last night getting details sorted. Without further ado, let's get some pre going. Uh, I need it. I need it. So I'll, you, you guys saw it in the last video, but these are the moves today. I still haven't uh, gotten the L-carnitine in yet. Eventually, I'll add that to the stack. But it's a nice little, like I said, boost of fat burner. But this guy... I need you to do some magic. You heard? You heard? My backpack over here. I'm losing my marbles. You already know. Little gym chart. This is an old one. This is like, so I signed with, I've been with gym chart for coming up on a year now. Uh, and it's been dope. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy, but this is like one of the first things I ever got from when I was like, yo, remember freaking out, but yeah. Classic legacy design, pretty dope. Anything and everything Gymshark, if you do use the link I have down below on my videos, uh, it does grant me a little bit of commission, so I appreciate the support. If you're getting something anyway, you know, go ahead, go through the link. Um, but if not, you still buy some stuff, it's good stuff, so. We're about to get our pre going. A couple things, actually. Actually, no, just one thing. Workout playlist, I'm gonna link it in this video. Down, down below. I've linked it in videos before. I know I get hit up here and there. This is in the playlist. So I'm not gonna say the song title, but it goes. Yeah, I do like the external rotation with the you know light dumbbell, get the shoulder warmed up because it is chest and shoulders today. But I really like this one, just hooking it up, and then you get that tension, you know, pulling you forward. So it's also activating you know the back of that delt. Um, a little bit of rhomb voice, a little bit of rear delt. So get an overall warm up, and I like it. It definitely gets my shoulders loosened up. So that was a lot of talking for a short period of time. So let's get to uh, a lot of working. I'm gonna start with dumbbell incline. Good squeeze, feels pretty good, but still, your knees already up to the seventies. I'm not uh, I'm not there quite yet. We'll start light, get into it, and then uh, we got four solid, solid sets, six to eight, heavy, definitely spot recommended. Come in the gym, I'm cold, go for a working set, tweak something, and then you got like weeks out of the gym trying to repair it. So it's all about being smart, being efficient.
set number two of this, super set, barbell bench press. We're only doing 135, 10 reps, but it's a slow negative and explode. It's all about control, like two, three seconds on the way down, and then right into a flat dumbbell fly, just on the same bench. Uh, I actually, I can't take credit for this one. I actually picked it up. I did a workout with Steven Cowell, which was dope. So, Steven, thank you, dog. But um, it's a good one, it's a good one. We do it every now and then. You guys saw that, it's documented. But uh, back to the uh, bread and butter. Dips, super set in, with the landmine chest press. Pretty much just the whole chest. Let's go, Let's see what we got left in the tank. I have like the same three poses. I don't know what What's up with the uh, post workout meal, the grub, and uh, I need a shower, I need a cold drink, I need a lot of things right now. So I'll see you guys there. I'm exhausted. That was a uh, that was a good workout. Um, that was a good workout. Period. Um, I'm like flattened. The pump is gone. Now I'm just sore, hurting. But this is when it's time to get in. Good little meal. I like to wait a second, so usually I'll wait like it takes me a minute to get back, but 
give myself like half an hour, 45 minutes, just let myself settle because I can't eat. Like, I don't know how people do it. Like, some people lift and then just go eat right after. I need to wait a second. But um, I like to do a like full meal, probably like an hour and a half, two hours after I eat. That might be a protein source like uh, like ground chicken, ground turkey, maybe some white rice, uh, throwing in like some veggies, do like some spinach and lettuce, throw in there. Like, I'll make a little taco out of it. If you see my IG, I always make tacos. But I always do post-workout uh, quick carb right after. So enough talking, I'm just gonna show you what I make. Fully loaded right here. All right, so I'm quickly realizing this actually looks like a lot, whole bunch of mess, complicated, but it's actually not. I just never lay everything out like this because I'm just not the type of person that's, I don't know, I don't like, just get one thing out of the time one thing out of the cupboard or whatever at a time. But um, what we will be making is a little protein, like protein cereal. So you probably see a lot of, I don't know, it's a, it's a popular thing. So I eyeball it, just uh, probably, honestly, maybe like a serving and a half of the Rice Krispie. So the reason I do Rice Krispie is A, it's low sugar. I don't really like to have a lot of sugar in my diet but B is still like a, a easily digestible carb. So it's a, it's a quick carb source, um, which is good because your body needs that quick di quick acting carb. Always go with almond milk. I'm not a big fan of dairy. Uh, I mean, do your research on dairy. If you want to drink it all the time, go ahead. You know, call me whatever for using almond milk, but much happier with it. Give it a shot. Give it a shot if you haven't yet. I'll do collagen. So yeah, ESP doesn't have a raw collagen supplement yet. I think they might in the near future. That's the hope. But um, this is just like plain collagen peptide, flavorless. Um, and this is great because it's it uh, it's good for uh, joint report joint support, like in terms of ligaments and tendons, but also like hair, skin, nails. Uh, there's a lot of cool research on collagen. And then of course we got our creatine. So benefits of using creatine, it does, like just tons of studies out there. Feel free to check them out. Honestly, with all this stuff, there's usually a lot of research on a lot of these supplements. Find what works for you, what works you know, within your budget, uh, get you a good bang for your buck. Um, but also, you know, you feel good. You feel like you can digest it. But I do like the creatine. When I'm on it, I definitely have that, that extra rep or two in the gym, um, cause it's really just supplying the energy with, or the muscle with a little more energy. Overall, we got glutamine, which is an essential amino acid in terms of muscle recovery. Pretty good. So we'll do a scoop of this. Um, and if you if you're trying to get, if you want to keep it simple, really, you just need this guy right here. Some whey protein. This is EHP's isopept. Um, just whey protein, and I would say throwing creatine, and then uh, you know if you want to do it with your carb, you'll be straight. To break it down again for you. We got an essential amino acid helps with muscle recovery. This is kind of added, the added bonus, another added bonus for uh, like ligaments, tendons, and then on top of that, hair, skin, and nails, which is your collagen. Feel free to do research on these two. But then the essentials that if I don't do these two, I'm okay with. But I gotta put these in my scoop of creatine and then a scoop of protein. So this is so 25 grams per scoop in the isopept. That's probably my favorite flavor from EHP too, the cookies and cream. It's a move. Pour a little bit on, and I always end up making more than I need in there. Just drink the rest. We're eating. But I have gotten like a lot of uh, diet requests lately in general, so I know a grocery haul is definitely on my to do list of things to film. But let me know if there's other topics could be diet related could be anything fitness i i enjoy kind of sharing my experiences of of um what i've done is coming up on like four years of training now which is crazy um but i enjoy sharing my experiences things i've learned and you know i plan on doing it for the rest of my life so it's, it's kind of kind of a dope little journey on here so ask away ask away but that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed the workout thank you so much for watching tuning in and um that's it. That's all I got for you. I'm going to enjoy this meal. Get some good carbs in. Get some good proteins in. 
But what do I know? I'm just Merc. I'll catch you guys later.